Hey everyone! Today I finally have the video that you've all been waiting for. How I created Edward's Automail Arm. Now I don't have any videos of how I made it, but I'm going to be making this using pictures from my progress of the arm. I used templates from Panda Beetle on DeviantArt. And I will link Panda Beetle down below and on this video so that you could go check out the template. So without further ado, let's get started. The supplies you'll need are a black glove, a black sweater or shirt, a black sock, hot glue, scissors, sticky buttons, velcro, gray and silver craft foam, elastic, and something to measure with. Your first step is making the finger joints. I looked at the templates online and traced them out onto my gray craft foam. I used measuring tape to measure around my fingers so I can know how wide each piece needs to be. You're going to need three segments for your four fingers and you're going to need two segments for your thumb. It's also a good idea to label them so you know which finger it goes on. Next you will carefully hot glue each of the segments to the glove. You have to wear the glove whenever you hot glue it on so be very careful. My suggestion is to gently blow on the hot glue before you apply it onto the glove so it feels more like a warm bath than searing hot needles going through your skin. The next step is making the palm piece. I looked at the templates online and attempted to make the same shapes. For the palm I made a square and I cut a little hole in it for the thumb and then I made a T shape and glued it on top. Again, measure out the length and width of your hand to make sure you have the sizes right and blow on the hot glue before you apply it so you don't burn yourself. Next you're going to work on the top part of your hand. Look at the template online, trace it onto gray craft foam, cut it out, and hot glue it to the top of your hand. Make sure that your wrist can still be able to move. Also, you're going to be hot gluing the velcro around your wrist on the top and bottom so that we can stick the forearm to it. Next, it's time to make the forearm. You're going to need two pieces of gray craft foam for this. The first one you leave alone. The second one, you're going to trace three ovals on top, as close to the same size as possible, and at least probably about half an inch to an inch away from each other. And then once you do that, you're going to glue this piece on top of the first piece that you left alone. From there, you're going to glue Velcro around the wrist area, so that it can be applied to the wrist of the glove. You're also going to be adding Velcro down the side of the forearm piece as well as a little square of Velcro so that it can be more form fitted to your wrist and widen out towards the end of the forearm as you need it. Next we're going to create the elbow. First you're going to take a black tube sock and cut the stitch where the toes are so you can slip your arm through it. Using the template and a picture of Edward's arm as a guide, I cut several kind of banana shaped pieces of gray foam and hot glued them together in layers. I then glued three pieces of elastic underneath going lengthwise to give it a little more support before hot gluing it down onto the elbow. This is an idea of what your arm should look like so far. Now we're going to work on the shoulder piece. The first step is to cut four pieces of Graves craft foam. I used the templates online to kind of give me an idea. You want them to be kind of square with a rounded bottom and get bigger as you go up. The number of layers you need will depend on how long your shoulder is or your upper arm. For me, I'd use four. Then you're going to trace that shape onto silver craft foam and cut out that little outline so that it can make an outline for your shoulder pieces. This will give it a little bit more dimension. Now you're going to glue three pieces of elastic lengthwise down the shoulder piece in order to give it some support before you glue it onto the shoulder. As for what it's attached to, I used a sweater that I had that was a three quarter inch sleeve and I trimmed the rest of it off so that I could fit it underneath my chest whenever I'm cosplaying. You can use a long sleeve shirt for this or a short sleeve shirt, it really doesn't matter particularly as long as you can be able to have your upper arm covered and that you can be able to get it to fit under your chest. Although this picture is a little dark, here's another progress picture of what it should look like now. This next step is going to require you to have to be a little bit creative and also have a helping hand for the back of your shoulder. So I looked at the templates and I also looked at reference pictures and tried to kind of guesstimate what I wanted. 
So first you're going to take a big strip of gray craft foam and glue that on top of your shoulder. You then take another piece of gray craft foam that will be a little bit smaller and almost trapezoid shaped and glue it on top of that one as well. Based off of what I could see on the reference pictures, I took another piece of gray craft foam and cut it into a small rectangular shape, cut a small square out of it, and glued it to the very top of the two layers of craft foam. And for a last little bit of detail, I cut another little rectangle of gray craft foam and glued it to the front of the shoulder. And now we come to the fun part, where we add on the rivets! So now you're going to take your sticky buttons, and using reference pictures of Edward's arm, you're going to attach the sticky buttons to the different parts of the hand and arm. Make sure that you hot glue these down as you stick them on so that it will also stick on a little bit better. And ta-da! We are done with Edward Elric's auto mail arm. I hope this tutorial was helpful for everyone and now you can go and make your own auto mail arms. So please like, favorite, subscribe, and let me know what you want me to try to build next. So until next time, see you guys!